think you still have on the back of the last game. You know, you guys have the momentum and, and uh, you know, they were going to make some free throws. You guys just couldn't get a three to go down. Um, you know, we were, I mean, we were down in the ninth minute when we fought back and back into the game. And, uh, um, the ball just kind of didn't bounce our way in the last couple of minutes. Uh, you know, uh, that last possession, Trevor, you had to think one of those was going to go, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we had some good ones there. Of course, a few tough ones if we had to. Uh, um, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, that would have been great if we won order time for us. What was it about this NC State team that gives you guys uh, so much trouble? No, uh, I mean, they're a good offensive team. Uh, they got guys who, who can make shots and get them on the zone and, and make plays. Uh, but, I mean, going forward, our defense has to be a lot better. And, uh, it's just something we can work on our offense. It's going to be a lot better. Talking about going forward, you know, what's the, the mental state of this team? Uh, obviously, they this, this season the way you guys are on the team, but where, where's your head at uh, collectively with you right now? Uh, I mean, it's not too hard right now. We're, I mean, uh, we were in a tough spot last year, and uh, we used the conference tournament as something to bounce back from, and uh, we weren't able to do that this year, so we got to use the NCAA tournament or something. And, um, I mean, we got to have a, a great week of practice, and uh, it's starting tomorrow for us. And, uh, I mean, we need to start to marry work and, and record and, and get better. The experts are saying that, you know, there's a good chance you guys aren't going to end up in the East now and in no MSG. I mean, how much did that matter to you guys to, to be able to, I mean, to go through Madison Square Garden and, and now you might have to go elsewhere? <laughs> I mean, uh, what were you? We went to California last year, right? So it, it doesn't matter. Um, you just got to go out there and play. It doesn't matter where you are, who you're playing against. You got to be ready to play. And, uh, and, and the team there, he's ready to play. And he wants to work and win. It doesn't matter where you are. You talk about how Tyler played, Trevor, and, you know, his second half especially. Got a, he was kind of the only guy who was able to get it to go, it seemed like, for a while there. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, he, he was Tyler. He, he was making plays, he was making shots. And, and, uh, and thank God we had him or what he got up with. Trevor Finch. Is it an update for CJ? How much harder does it make it for the offense looking for other guys when his shots are falling? Well, I don't think we did a good job of getting him open and getting him to just his CJ spots. Uh, and uh, we got to look at the film and uh, we got to watch that. And I mean, people are going to scout that. So I mean, we got to do a better job of getting him open. Yeah. Jack, can you just describe that crazy sequence of shots at the end of the last 20 seconds of the game? Did you guys know how much time was left, and what was the idea at that point? Uh, yeah, and we needed a free. Uh, so we wanted to get as many threes up as we can, hoping that one of them would go in for us. Trevor, when that kind of series of events goes on, I mean, you guys had a lot of clean looks at that point. So, I mean, how do you kind of chalk up this one? How do you look at this loss? Um, <laughs> We played, we played good basketball for a couple minutes, and that got us back into the game. And then, uh, I mean, we didn't make the, the right plays to get the win, and the ball didn't bounce our way. So uh, we just got to come back, back ready to work and get back on the same page and get back on track. Obviously, last season, the regular season, we lost those games down the stretch, which you were able to come back in the Big East tournament. This one's a little bit different. Do you believe that this team can turn around with just a, a few days that you're going to have before Selection Sunday? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, this team's really talented. Um, and it's just about us getting on the same page and, and doing our job. And, uh, and that's just offensively. And, and, and defensively, we're a good defensive team. And we just got to get back to our principles and, and get back on track defensively. And uh, you just got to play 2 feet right. And, I mean, here and there we play it right. And then we slip up a little bit. And it's going to happen. But, I mean, and, and we need to put a good 40 minutes together, and we haven't been there in a while, so we feel good to, to do that for some so like Talk about playing the 2-3 right. What are some of those elements that you think need to be improved? Uh, it's just movement, movement activity. And, uh, it, we haven't had that in a while, and uh, when we're active and we're moving well and communicating as a team, uh, the 2-3 is really good. You, you, you get steals and you get turnovers and, and you get going. And we haven't really done that. We haven't got a lot of transition points, and, and, and our offense kind of needs that. What does Coach say to you after a game like this? I mean, how does he kind of respond in the locker room? Um, I mean, he, he's going to challenge us. He knows that we're a good team, and he believes in us. So he's going to challenge us to, to come ready to work and, and to get better and for us to play harder. And, uh, and he's going to meet that challenge with the bell.